Hi, welcome back. Equilibrium of forces, center of gravity. A solid hemisphere of radius r and weight w is placed on a flat surface with its curved surface touching the flat surface and a string of length l is connected to pull it to one side as shown in the figure. The hemisphere placed on a flat surface with a string attached here to pull it down and it has an inclination theta with the horizontal. Show that at equilibrium the tension of the string is given by this equation. R is the radius of the hemisphere, L is the length of the string, W is the weight of the hemisphere. Okay, let's see the forces applied to this one. One is the tension here. There is a re reaction R from the ground and the W here. And we need to note that the center of gravity of a solid hemisphere is located at 3 8 of R. From below the center of the sphere on the line of symmetry. So this is the line of symmetry and the center of gravity is 3 8 of r. So it's the radius of the hemisphere is r. So the center of gravity is somewhere here. And we can write a few equations. Now, now what we are going to do is we are going to find out some related uh, distances. One distance is OB because C here is the edge of this point where the string is attached. And it has a tension t length simple l and if you drop a perpendicular to this uh, 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 force r here because this is the line perpendicular to the uh, surface here a o and the perpendicular from c to this line is c b and distance from o to b is given by r minus l because L is the length of the string, so this will be L. From here to here, the radius of the hemisphere, therefore this length OB equal to R minus L. And BC is the perpendicular distance to this point equal to R squared minus OB squared from the Pythagoras theorem. Now we can find the angle here tan theta which is given by OB over BC. And we can substitute the values for OB. OB equal to R minus L. BC equal to R squared minus OB squared. We substitute for OB, it is R minus L squared and expand R minus L uh, squared. So you get R squared minus 2RL become plus 2RL plus L squared minus L squared. When you take off these brackets, uh, the minus sign will get multiplied and then when you simplify r squared and r squared will cancel off we get the value for tan theta which is r minus l divided by square root of 2 r simple l minus simple l squared okay let's uh, see the equilibrium conditions we take the movements across the point a here so during the equilibrium the movement uh, uh, due to capital T and movement due to capital W across A should be equal and uh, if you take the movement across A the reaction force will become zero the, the, the movement due to reaction becomes zero because the distance from R to A is zero so therefore the two forces multiply by the distance T times R cos theta this is from here to here R cos theta is the movement due to T and movement due to W is equal to W times X bar. This X bar is the distance here from o OG. This is the center of gravity. OG sine theta. OG sine theta is the distance from here to here, perpendicular distance. So X bar sine theta times W is the movement due to capital W. So now we can. Uh, take the sides uh, take 
t into one side which because t is the one that we want to find here t is equal to x bar w divided by r sine theta divided by cos theta become tan theta and we know tan theta was equal to r minus l divided by square root of 2 r l minus l squared now we substitute it here uh, then we get 3 r and also x bar it x bar is equal to 3 r over 8 so we substitute for x bar plus x bar and tan theta tan theta equals to r minus simple l divided by square root of 2 r l minus l squared now that is the, the uh, that is the answer to the question that is the tension of the wire uh, the tension of the string that that was pulling this uh, hemisphere to an angle otherwise this will be a horizontal surface there so when you pull it downwards you get an angle so this is the final answer to this question